Hi guys, Diana here. Welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be playing Martha is Dead. So I've been wanting to play this game since it's been released and now I finally got my hands on it. So without further ado, let's dive on in. Wow, the graphics though. It's pretty. Ciao. I'm Julia. Julia. Hi Kane. Julia. <laughs> I'm glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. Mm. It's been years now. I must tell you my story, but I don't know where to begin. There is so much that... I should start from my childhood, but my memories of these times are vague. I only okay. remember the summer of 1929, when they sent me off to stay with my nanny. Okay. Um, just a side note, this game is, I heard it's pretty graphic in terms where they talk about self-harming and also there's a lot of body dismemberment, dismemberment. Um, there's a lot of really uncomfortable things being discussed in this game, so that's all I can say. <laughs> I don't know what's coming, but we're about to see. And suffering can make us do evil things, even if we're not actually bad. Just like soldiers have to kill other soldiers. I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The poor dear. She still scares me a little, though. So the I'll kid is so woman, cute. And she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother, so do not worry. Do you miss them? No. I mean, yes. I miss Martha a little, but I love spending time with you. Okay. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes, very much so. What, this lady she kills people? My <laughs> and will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Nanny. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young That's woman, no guarantee, though. <laughs> tell me her story, even if it's foggy outside. Okay. Please. Oh, please. We're about to hear the then story, I hope. I promise. Oh, all right. You always get your own way. <laughs> I have a feeling that Martha is the favorite I love child. I love that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. Ah, oh, the lady in white. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. Oh, that's never good. <laughs> she was expecting a lover stroll by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. Is this like a betrayal story? Stabbed in the back by a lover? <laughs> so much hope and desire that death, not life, was awaiting her. Oh, the poor dear. That's not fair. Life mm. isn't fair, Poppet, but that's the way it is. True. And we must learn to deal with it. Okay, I'll try. But True. it makes me so mad. Keep on reading, Nanny. Who's the voice actor for this child? She's adorable. <laughs> In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. What? For what? So he was hanged on a small island, in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. Jealousy of what? They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Oh, it's never good. Uh-uh. Since then, her spirit, 
known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves no. eternally for the loss of the man she loved. You shouldn't still love him though. He August, murdered you. The White Lady was known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long lost love in vain. Within the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. Okay. This is giving me the creeps. I'm just gonna keep listening. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul, she takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth. Even just for an instant, the lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Okay, so she puts her pain and sorrow into murdering young women. Well, that's selfish, isn't it? <laughs> I spent almost three years with the nanny, but when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. Aww. My memories did not return until 15 years later, in 1944, when I stayed in that house. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals, or whatever else was in that damned place. Okay. Oh! Well, isn't this just lovely? Oh my gosh, the graphics in this game though! Oh! But this is scary, I hate this. This is scary as hell! Oh my gosh, I hate it! Oh, this is such a vintage camera. Can you imagine if we still have to use this? Too much work. Reel off the phone. Okay. Damn, it's a lot of work. Open the camera. This is what Open tutorial? Okay. Oh gosh, I'm so scared. The new film in. Okay. Gosh, we love a crow. It's always bad with crows. Close the camera. Load the film. Okay, I'm getting the hang of these controllers for this game. Because it's different for every game. Activate the timer. Ooh, at least it has a timer. Almost ready. Oh my gosh. All right, how's that? Wow, what is this? Something floating on the surface of the water. Use R to move. Oh my. Okay, this. Oh my gosh. Someone is dead and is floating. Oh my god, my okay. controller is moving like crazy. No! I don't I really don't wanna see what is no no. I hate this. Julia? I assume this is Julia. Someone might have drowned in my life. The lake was my world. Where I would spend entire days daydreaming. I would lose myself and my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. It's so terrible. I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. I really don't know what's coming. Okay. At least she took her shirt off. That's all I care about. Freaking shirt off. I don't know why that makes me uncomfortable. What is this music? I hate this music. What is this? I uh, oh my god, who's the <laughs> is this the lady? Like the lady who I from the movie? I mean the the story that our nanny told us, or is this? It can't be right. I mean, 
It would have been so badly decomposed. <laughs> I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. Oh. I scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I you could have used the boat. Arms did I realize who she was? It was my sister, my twin, a part of me, dead. Oh. I was desperate. I didn't Martha. Know what to do. Martha. Martha is dead. Oh my gosh. I have to stay calm. Oh. Oh. Martha is not dead. Uh, I'm afraid she is. She looked pretty um unalive. Very very it's dead. True. She looks pretty dead. There's no need to worry. How, how do I do this, guys? Oh. Everything is fine. Sorry, I'm still working out, fine. figuring out the controllers. I have to stay calm. No, you don't have to. Not Your sister is dead. dead. Get help. It's not true. Oh my god, I hate this. There's no need to worry. Martha. Yep, it's Martha definitely Martha. Yep. Why are you wearing that now? Is everything okay? Are you hurt? Oh, what are you doing? Go, Eric, run. Maybe Julia is My just exhausted. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? Oh! Me, speaking slowly in order to Her mum thinks that she is Martha right now because of the dead. necklace, I think. She thought I was Martha. I didn't want the moment Ah, to so Martha is so deaf. Is that why that she's the favorite? So like she needs more attention? Her. I don't know. The parents just want to give her more attention than Julia. I would have to pretend to be Martha. No! Martha. Don't don't take your sister's, your twin sister's identity. That's awful. I know I get it that your parents don't love you, Julia, or you're not the favorite child. But don't take your twin sister's identity. That just that's just messed up. That is messed up. Don't do that. O oh Lord who gives life to the dying, let your sacrifice of love be offered for Martha's soul. And Julia, you, you are horrible. Don't take... I wish I had the choice to decide whether she Please can pretend to be Martha or not. Shelter. But I guess this is the storyline. Oh my gosh. So we have to pretend to be deaf the whole game, I guess. Mommy always finds something for everyone to do. Oh, it's dead. Daddy must be devastated. He loves me. I messed up and now I have to watch him suffer my death. I can at least light the candles and let him find some comfort and sleep. Sorry, I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Dad, can I talk to you? No? Oh. These hunting rifles are not daddy's. He never went hunting. Nanny must have left them here. Daddy's Obo. We were preparing a really nice duet together. On the rare occasions he's at home, that is. Okay, let's light the candles. This game is very interesting so far. I really cannot 
pinpoint how the ending will be like like i do know she will get exposed eventually i feel like that might happen but i don't know what will happen to her but i do know like eventually when you lie you will get exposed eventually because <laughs> you lie now you're even lying to your parents about your supposedly deaf sister's death and took her identity messed up <laughs> July 17th 1944 our family is deeply saddened and is thinking of you during this extremely difficult time Ernesto E and family July 17th, 1944. Our hearts are with you and we share your grief in the wake of the tragic loss of your dearest Julie. When mummy asks for something, there's a mess. There's no reason to use the phone like that. Do I need to help mom with the flowers and stuff? I might need to though. Sorry, Mom. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot I cannot talk. <laughs> Everything always has to be perfect with her. What? What is that? Where do I put this flower still? Where do I put the flowers? I'm just gonna go around. It's kinda. Dad, would you like some flowers? No? Oh, wait, wait, I should give to her. What the hell, Diana? Clearly, I don't know about this. Is that not? Is that, is that not it? Hey, sis. I'm sorry, I took your identity. How about some flowers? How about this? Huh? How about how about how that? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with these dang flowers, y'all? Wait, am I supposed to go the other side? Okay, let's go the other side because I really don't know what to do with these flowers. Ah, okay. Decor. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I, oh, I thought I was supposed to put it like on her, like holding the flower. That. Apparently not. What's happening? Who closed the door? Probably Martha. She's like, sister, you took my identity. How could you? I'm not death. I'm not death in. Never mind. I wanted to make a joke. It doesn't work. I can't go in though. Okay, now I can. What are they talking about? You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Daughter? Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. Remember? What are you talking about, Irene? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? So the father you loves both Martha. of them Julia evenly. But the mother... And as if that were not I feel like she, she loved now Martha died. more. It's the same she loved Martha more, stuff. so that's so why she's like, uh. Everything <laughs> is always Julia's fault. Isn't I guess they're really, really identical twins that they death. couldn't be and different shape. Like, oh my god, this is this. This is who. Like, they literally look the same. That's why the parents couldn't even tell Julia is that Julia dead. is lying. Even they're like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Martha. I'm not Julia. Julia is dead. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. <gasps> You're crazy. I'm the crazy one? Oh my gosh. Me? A mother should not say that about their child. Like, I wish you weren't born at all. That's messed up. Why? Why did? Yes. Why do they hate her? I mean, her Your mother hate her. Is all my fault. 
Is it because she has a scar oh, on her face or something? I don't get My parents like that sometimes. Sweet, it's a freaking child. Your own flesh and blood. Am I at least our father love us? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. No. We can't do anything together anymore. Can we? I'm still here, Dad. I'm still here. Game, I feel it's gonna be a lot of emotional things. To devastate the peaceful towns within the El Valley. We have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramula. The young daughter of German Army General Erich K was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? So, Father the General, the who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. Okay. Mother didn't seem to suffer from the situation. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was better for me too that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. Yeah. Lying doesn't doesn't last. Oh shit. Why am I Okay okay Martha Martha has lost has lost what? Her, her, okay, her. What is this like a her life? Oh wait, I did it wrong. Okay, Martha Is this like a guilt trip? <laughs> has lost her soul I think her soul my gosh this is horrible yeah because you took it no I just she didn't take it you took her identity we don't know who killed her probably she just drowned or something we don't know what happened to her maybe the lady in white Lady, ugly. <laughs> wow, captured. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> Definitely guilt trip. What day? Oh, wrong. I. I. Oh, stole. I think I stole her identity, I think. Identity! Oh my gosh. Definitely a guilt trip, guys. Damn. Ooh, that disturbing ukulele. Like, bro, you need to learn to play ukulele, man. But this is an amazing soundtrack. Like, it's very disturbing. Because, first of all, the person don't know how to play ukulele. Second, I don't know, it's just very disturbing. So it works. Oh my god. Oh no, what are we doing? Oh no! Oh my god, I'm sorry guys. Is this allowed on YouTube? I oh, why are you doing this? Oh, I think this is like my perspective, my POV to stealing her identity, guys. I'm so sorry. 
if you guys don't like this, I'm sorry. No one should like this. For someone who watch a lot of crime shows and forensic stuff, I don't like this. This is not... Not nice. No, don't wear it. Don't wear it. No. Mm. So what? This is like a... Yikes! What now? Oh my god, I killed my sister. It was just a dream. A horrible dream. Yeah. That horrendous woman in the face of my sister. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. This is Martha and me. Wow. The the saint. They look so identical. No wonder. I couldn't even tell the difference. <laughs> oh my gosh. Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite intake. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? I think she's a bad sister because Martha sounds amazing. Like, I get it, your parents don't really pay attention to you and stuff, but like, stealing your sister's identity? I, I'm gonna repeat this over and over again. Like, how messed this up it is. is. Trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. Do we need a key? Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them would be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Um... Since you want to be Martha so bad, why not? <laughs> this white one looks nice. Where would she put her keys though? The view is amazing, might I add. I like how they share like a room and stuff. Everything I need is always in my bag. The key to my trinket box. Here is my diary. Damn. July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, it's a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be... Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. 
In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her She might have died drowning, though, considering she likes swimming, I don't know. But she sounds like a great swimmer. If you are great at swimming, I don't know, I just think she might be a great swimmer. Should I wear Julia's clothes? Can I wear Julia's I'm clothes? Already dressed. I don't know, I want to change my mind. <laughs> Can't I change my mind? Oh gosh, if mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lapo. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death. Who's that? Is that a boy for him? The butterfly collection that Daddy made for me. It might be their best friend. I'm not. I'm not going to just jump in into like oh, it's a boyfriend. Okay, let's go out and have breakfast. I guess. Alright guys, I'll stop the gameplay right there. So far, I'm really really surprised by the graphics. It's so amazing. And also, we were not expecting um, us having to cut off Martha's face and putting it on Julia like a mask. I guess that, that kind of shows how like, oh, Julia is taking Martha's identity and owning it, you know, like, oh, I'm the favorite child. <laughs> Mom loves me. So I'm hating that part of Julia where she's willing to steal Martha's identity just because she's kind of um, being put aside and not loved as much as Martha is and I think that is not a reason for you to steal your sister's identity and that's messed up, it's really messed up. That's why I don't like about Julia but we're playing her, what can I do? But yeah, this game is letting us go through this guilt trip where we are having nightmares and then like I said, we, we had this nightmare where we peeled off Martha's face and yeah, girl, you should not be feeling fine after stealing her identity. So I'm loving that for Julia. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm really excited to see how this game is going to go and how is it going to end. So yeah. So far, I'm enjoying it. And of course, this game does talk about self-harming, body dismemberment, um, body disfigured, like chopping stuff, blood, all those gory and like disturbing, uncomfortable things that people might not find um, normal. <laughs> so for me, it's weird saying that is normal. You might be like, girl, you okay? You good? Um, I'm fine. <laughs> It's just that I do watch a lot of forensic and I love to learn about human bodies, basically biology. Um, so yeah, considering I failed biology, I don't know how even, but I did fail biology. But I love biology, so I love learning about human bodies and it is crazy when you watch forensic and also crime shows because it's crazy how inhumane people can be and I think that makes me appreciate life more because there's a lot of bad people out there and you gotta be grateful for what you have and the life that is given to you so anyway thank you so so much for watching this video don't forget to like this video subscribe to my lovely channel and ring the notification bell so that you guys will get notified every time I post a brand new video and don't forget guys that whoever loves you will love you for whoever you truly are. That is it guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Adios.